guys, it's me, Pia Pai, again, back with another video. This time, I'm taking you with me to the land of fire and ice, Iceland. Since I've got four days off, my friend and I decided to wander around and explore this stunning place. We are going to Iceland! <laughs> Finally have our boarding passes. We are actually very thrilled with this trip because we thought I'm not gonna get my visa besides having this standby ticket. So finally I have this one. By the power of the divine intervention, <laughs> I was able to get my visa in a one-day process. I'm so 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 excited. When we wait. And see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for Welcome to Iceland Let's touch down The future is bright. Morning, Iceland. We are on our day two. <laughs> and we're just waiting for the time actually we are about to win our pickup time for the bus tour bus is around 8 o'clock it's supposed to be 8 to 8 30 so we're just waiting for that we want to stay outside because it's really very windy we are very covered like a bat We also chose to stay in a dormitory over a hotel since it's a lot more affordable. It's not as fancy for sure, but we prefer adventure over comfort luxury. Besides, in a dormitory, we get to meet and interact with new people in the room, which is always an exciting part of every journey. The tour itself costs around 500 euros for a three-day trip, depending on the package you prefer. So have your pockets ready if ever you plan to travel here. We reached our first stop, the Carried Crater Lake. The winds were so intense and since I don't have an extensive set of gear for vlogging, it's basically impossible to stabilize our cameras. The audio is a little janky too, but I hope you're still enjoying the video so far anyway. After a few minutes of riding, we reach the Galfoss, a waterfall located in southwest Iceland, a truly breathtaking view. As I've said, the icy winds here are so strong that my hands are freezing and holding the camera just won't cut it, 
so I hope you don't mind the lack of audio. The tour package we chose is the Golden Circle which includes the famous Blue Lagoon and the Northern Lights. Tonight, if we're lucky, we will be visiting a few attractions that feature the Aurora Borealis. The video probably doesn't do its size justice, but the golf pass is massive and unfortunately we can't revel in its beauty as much as we want to because of the freezing weather. So a piece of advice when visiting any place, plan and prepare. You never want to miss out on a possibly once in a lifetime experience. And definitely, do not forget your warm gloves. After a few minutes of taking photos together, my friend and I decided to go back to the bus to warm ourselves up from the cold. On our way to the gazer, the bus makes few stops to capture a couple of photos and memories. Now we are on our way to the Geyser and after that one we're going to take a tour again to the National Park or something like that. That smells freaking bad. For a few hours, we watched gazers in their ashy clouds. There are also several areas to sit, relax, and appreciate the scenery. As you may have noticed as well, there are tons of people from different parts of the world, which proves that Iceland is indeed famous for its unique beauty. Now it's time for our next stop, the National Park. Of course, you can't appreciate the place just by staying in one place. So our tour guide graciously gives us a few hours and tells us to meet him on the other side of the park after, which would get us to walk for a few miles. It was quite cardio workout for us, but seeing the mesmerizing landscape made it all worth it. And as much as I'd love to talk while vlogging again, the wind makes it impossible. Which reminds me, I should get a good microphone soon so I could adequately document my travels. We're having dinner here and today we are having this Atlantic Kaka. I don't know how, if I pronounce it right, but this is how it looks. 
It looks like salmon though, but yeah, this is what they recommend in this restaurant. It's local food with beer, local beer as well. Now let's eat. Waitress just surprised us with this strawberry daiquiri. I think this is good with the salmon. This is really our day. I just hope that they'll be able to send us to the Aurora Borealis or the Northern Light. Hopefully it's okay today because yesterday they cancelled our trip because apparently uh, the weather was not good. So hopefully now or to tonight will be okay. On day 3, we decided to do a tour by ourselves in the city while waiting for our trip to the Blue Lagoon. Since this tour was a last minute decision, we managed to get two timings just to get a slot since they're always fully booked. Now, without further delay, I welcome you to the capital city of Iceland, Reykjavik. On our way to the church, we find a few unique buildings. And because of my fascination for nature, we spare a few minutes to take more photos and explore the area before going back to our hostel as my friend's booking for Blue Lagoon is at 2 p.m. with mine at 6 p.m. Just a few hours before our way to the Northern Lights. So I'm here at the Blue Lagoon and unfortunately I'm not with my friend because Dari is actually having her own uh, timing. Uh, we didn't book it together so that's why we have a separate timing. We will be having our Northern Lights tonight so basically I will only be having one hour here and then take the bus going to the Northern Lights. Hope I make it. of advice for those who wish to travel to Iceland and visit the Blue Lagoon. Make sure to book an appointment and get a confirmation from the place before heading here as they can only accommodate a certain amount of people to prevent crowding. And good news, the fee covers food and beverage which I think is a nice addition to the deal. Despite the intense weather in the last few days, I wouldn't trade my time here for anything else. So I relish the view and live in the moment. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and see you on my next adventure. Bye for now.